is up you guys it is Jessica doing things differently and today we have a Timu haul so as I was going through these items and I was like price checking everything I realized that I had already written the prices on the items when I first purchased the order then I'm looking at the prices now and they're different so I will tell you what I bought everything for. and I will also pop up a picture of what the price is currently because what I have written down is wrong so <laughs> There's that. Before we get into today's video, as always, let's go ahead and do the shout out of the week. And today's shout out goes to Be Prepared. So I don't know what they were referring to with their comment. However, nonetheless, they still commented. So I just wanted to go ahead and give them a shout out. If you want to be shouted out in one of my upcoming videos, all you simply have to do is comment down below. All right, below. so let's go ahead and get into today's video. Let's go. So here is the first item. I got it for 56 cents. And this is just a little box of tape. It's double-sided tape. And I got this for like littler projects or uh, either crafting or if I have like a poster or something I want to hang in my son's wood. I don't want to use a nail or I don't want to put a hole in the wall. I can use these little guys. So I don't remember how many came in here, but it is a whole stack of little tabs. And Oops, Amanda. And all you do is you take it and then you pull both sides off and you just stick it on. It's much thinner than I thought it was going to be. However, I think it'll work just the same. And it comes with a cute little box, which is nice because then I won't lose them. Because as you can see, they're pretty small and pretty thin. <laughs> so I could lose it pretty easily. So I thought it was pretty nice it came in a box. Moving on, we have this. This was $1.28. Now, this has been something that I have wanted to get on the TikTok shop a long time. I've been looking at it. It's been in my cart. I've taken it out of my cart. I put it back in my cart. And I just didn't get it. But I saw it on $1.28. And I was like, why not? Good time to try it. It's pretty inexpensive. I do know on the TikTok shop, it's not very expensive either. However, I wasn't sure if it was going to work. So instead of just doing one purchase on the TikTok shop and then having to pay for shipping, I decided to go on Timu. And I did try this little guy out. And while it does work on my phone, I have to take off my case and then use it. And that's not very good because I wanna be able to put it on my case and just be able to use it whenever I want, take it off, put it on. So because I have to take off my case, it's not like, I guess, as convenient. It's a little circle and it has little suction cups on this side and on the side and you just suction it to your phone and then you can put this anywhere when you're doing a video which for me is pretty good because a lot of times the places that I can do a video in the house don't have really good lighting and I don't want to bring out my ring light set that whole thing up it's just a lot so I got this maybe it would be better quality on TikTok maybe but I doubt it because I pretty much think that these are all going to be about the same I also got some off of Amazon but I didn't realize that one side was a sticky and then the suction cups that you stick it to the wall. So you stick it to your phone case and then you can use it whenever you want. The problem with that is though, when I set my phone down on a table or wherever, if I don't set it down face face down, then the, the suction cups stick to whatever I set my phone on, which is annoying. So didn't like it. The next item I got was 92 cents. And this little guy is one of those like, basically like slime, I feel like but it's a little ball of squishy something and you just take it and you put it in your car and then you're able to clean out your car um, like this. So you just squish it against everything it needs to go on and then it'll pick up all the dirt and then I believe you can wash this off as well. But unfortunately it's all in Chinese or Japanese writing so I can't read it to know what you can do it's probably in the description i would assume on timu but nonetheless i know what it's for i know how to use it so really i don't need the instructions and i'm assuming you can probably wash it to get uh all the stuff or all the junk that's on it off air dry it and then you can probably use it again uh, again i would assume but i don't know i don't know <laughs> moving on we have some like sharper or more precise q-tips but they're not for your ears so I got them for 76 cents and they have a wooden stick and then a sharp or pointy, I should say, um, tip on it. So that is what it looks like. 
And I got this for underneath here, cleaning up underneath my eyes or even cleaning up my eyebrows around them for precision cleanup. And I believe that there is a hundred of them in here. Uh, that's good. Next, we got a toilet brush cleaner. This was $3.35. It's now $2.08 because it's the one, one of the ones I actually wrote down what the now price was. It is a little container that holds the toilet brush and it comes with a little brush that you can do the inside of the toilet with or around the toilet. And then, oh, that was really stuck in there. <laughs> this is the toilet brush. It's more of like a silicone, which I like. And I also think that this could as well clean a little bit better. And then you clean it and then you just stick it right back in. Another cool feature of this is it comes with a little sticky tab where you can put it on the back of this and then you can attach it to your wall. Looking at this now, uh, before I saw it online, I was like, oh my God, that's so cool. I need that in my life, right? Looking at it now, um, there's one problem, one major problem in my opinion. Where is the dirty toilet bowl water? I mean, yes, will I clean this off before I stick it back in? Sure. But is it actually gonna be clean, clean, or do I have to actually clean this brush every single time right after I use it to do the, the toilet and then put it in so that, that way when the dripping water drips, it's not like gross water? And if you're the type of person who cleans your toilet and then goes and washes their toilet brush holder fully every time, we, I mean, <laughs> I, I don't know, good for you, because I don't, I sure don't. I clean my toilet brush, or I clean my toilet, I take my brush, I put it in the tub, I spray it with water with my little faucet, or my little shower head, and then I stick it back in the little holder until next time. Is that gross? I don't know, maybe a little bit, <laughs> maybe, now that I'm saying it all out loud, but if you're the type who thoroughly washes it after every time you use it, I call cat. I go cat. A bullshit. A bullshit. <laughs> I don't know, but I really like it. It's also very sleek looking. It's very minimalistic. It's not a lot or bulky in the way, you know what I mean? So, I mean, I like it. I just uh, don't really know about that, actually. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. All right. Next, we have some bowls. So these were 307, and these aren't just any little bowls. They're bowls with a little dip cup. That is genius. Love that concept. Love that idea. I cannot tell you how many times I have to get the little bowls or the little shot glasses or whatever I'm using to put dips in, right? Uh, those are so annoying to wash. So to have a one-stop shop type thing for my son for like grapes and then yogurt right here or Nutella and some apples or whatever, you know, whatever he has or I have or whatnot, um, that's awesome. And I know that they are dishwasher safe. You just have to put them on the top rack. They're thick. They're not one of those kinds that like bend, you know what I mean? That are super like cheapy cheap. They're not that. They do bend a bit, don't get me wrong. But they're not like those super, super bendable plastic crappy ones right so here is what it looks like as you can see it's a little bit thicker has some uh, little ridges in there and I just think this is pretty awesome the only thing I would say is why is that dip cup so little why is it so little we want a lots of dips <laughs> lots of dips but I thought those were cool they come in fours um, and I just love them. I think they're going to be super duper handy. All right, the last few items are jewelry related. And I'm not going to lie to you, I am not a fan of reviewing jewelry. It's not because I don't like it, because as we all know, I love jewelry. Once you've seen one, you've kind of seen it all type thing. And when you're holding it and the necklace is like swaying and you're trying to get it hold steady, your earrings that are really tiny, um, I just don't, I'm not a fan of it. So we're gonna try to breeze through this because some of it's just simple shit and others are a little bit more complex. So let's get into it. So the first item is a pack of five regular silver hoops and they go from like smaller hoops to medium hoops to larger hoops. So we have the small, medium section and then the larger section. Next, we have some uh, body jewelry. So this was 275 and it came in a set of five. These ones specifically, I got them because sometimes when I'm wearing like gold body jewelry 
or um, so like I have like my gold necklaces on, my gold earrings on, I might have like a gold belly ring on. If I have like silver nipple rings, it kind of throws it off, you know what I mean? To me, it doesn't like fully matter, but if I need it to matter, <laughs> or like if I'm, you know, like if I know and I need to be prepared for a moment, you know what I mean? Here we go. So they're just basic ones. These are kind of like glittery on the balls. This one is like a clear glittery one. Then we have just the regular barbells. And then we have like a more, uh, they're kind of like glittery, but they're more of like a solid glitter, if that makes sense. So it's also a set of four, not five. Uh, I thought there was a set of five, but nonetheless, love them. Moving on, we have a pair of earrings. These were 29 cents. And I got these because of what I thought they looked like. Looking at them in real life, they're much larger than I thought they were going to be. So this is what they are. They're not terrible. You know what I mean? Like they're not like, oh my God, those are cute. Well, they're kind of big. <laughs> they're kind of big. They're definitely a statement piece, you know? Um, but they're like little spiral earrings. So I think these are very, very pretty. Normally it's too small or much smaller than expected. <laughs> Moving on, we have a nose ring piercer, like a handheld one. This one was $1.98, it's now $1.97. And I got this because eventually I will <laughs> get the nerve to pierce my nose. <laughs> I tried it a while back uh, and did a video on it. I pierced my ear and I tried to pierce my nose. It didn't work, but hopefully I'll get there. Basically, it's just one of those handheld ones, and here is the ring, and you shove that part in your nose up against your nostril, and then you line that up where you want it, and then you just clamp it together, and then these, there's pieces in here, the little blue pieces, those were kind, they'll fall out, and then you'll have like the nose ring left. Um, I have done plenty of people's noses with these. None of them have gotten infected. Do it at your own risk, okay? <laughs> All right. Next, we have a somewhat three-piece set. So one earring for each ear and then a necklace. So it was 75 cents. This is what the earrings look like. So, and then the necklace is literally the exact same thing. So it's like a little matching set. Lastly, we got this necklace. It was $1.55. And this is a little necklace, um, kind of like for my kids or, or I guess referring to my kids because it has a mom and two boys and two girls on the pendant. And then this is the chain. So it just comes with a basic chain. And then here is the pendant. So it has a mom holding a heart and then two boys and two girls. So I obviously I have four children. So we have my oldest, which is Anthony, my youngest, which is Sid, my middle daughter, which is Makina, and my youngest daughter, which is Jocelyn. So I thought this was so cute. All right, you guys, and that'll do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. <laughs> and if you would be so kind, if you are not already, make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit that bell for notifications for every time I upload another video so you won't miss out. Like I said in my last video, I do plan on changing my upload days However, I don't want to do it without some type of notice. So here's the second notice that my day will probably change. I just don't know what day will work the best, which is kind of like why I'm trying to not only give you guys a little bit of time's notice, but also try to figure out which day is going to be best. So I'm thinking either Friday or Saturday is when I'm going to upload. Uh, that way it kind of gives me a few more days during the week. If I can't film on the day that I usually film, kind of gives me a couple days to, to of wiggle room. You know what I mean? So hopefully it all works out, but this is the second notice. Just so you know, the upload day will change eventually soon. And as always, if you guys could do me the biggest favor ever and share this video with a friend, a coworker, aunt, uncle, grandma, grandpa, I don't care who you share it with, just share it. All right, you guys, and until next time, I hope you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening whenever you're watching this. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.